Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 257. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 252 to 260. And Trick 257, we have a little data set, and we want to create a pivot table and group by dates. But we're going to run into some trouble when we group, and then we'll see how to fix it. Uh, Data set, field names at the top, r records in rows, click in one cell, and we'll create our pivot table. In 2007, you go to Insert, Pivot Table, Pivot Table. In 2007, you go to Data Menu, Pivot Table. Now, the keyboard shortcut using the Alt keys is Alt NVT in 2007. The keyboard shortcut in earlier versions is Alt DP for data and menu and then pivot. You notice there's three uh, steps there. Alt NVT, I'm going to say existing, and click in the location here, right there. I want to send that pivot table there. Now, uh, in earlier versions, you had to drop it into the sheet. So I'm going to click date, and that's how you do it in 2007. You always had to be careful of where the blue was in the icon or where the gray was. I'm going to drop it there. 2007, you click on the sales and drag it down here. There we have it. And what's so great about pivot tables is now we can group. We have a couple days here, and we want to group them. So there's just one summarization and one category label. I'm going to right click that field and go to group. And it says, what? Cannot group that selection. Uh-oh. Well, if that happens, we got to go back and look at our data, because dates, if they're really dates with serial numbers, it can be grouped. Sure enough, we go back to our data set, and there's a visual cue here. Numbers are always aligned to the right, and text is aligned to the left. So these dates have been entered in as text, which um, happens a lot when you get um, data dumps from various uh, databases. Uh, there's a couple ways we can deal with this. I'm going to close this uh, pivot table field list. Um, one way you can do it is to copy the number 0 and paste special and add. And it will, by adding 0 or multiplying by 1 or dividing by 1, it'll convert text numbers to actual numbers. Remember, dates are serial numbers. Number of days since December 31st, 1899. So uh, January 1st, 1900 is 1. Uh, this date in 2008 is like 39,000 or something like that. So watch this. I'm going to type a 0 somewhere, copy, highlight this column, right click, paste special, and this great little section in between here, operation, operation. I'm going to say add. By the way, we could have done multiplied by 1, divided by 1, or added 0. Remember, lots of other videos here at Excel is fun. We do arrays, or we convert text values to numbers using this very trick, multiplying by 1, divided by 1, or adding 0. I'm going to click add. This is a great trick using paste special. And just like that, it. Uh, converts them. Now, wait a second. Those are um, numbers, so we need to format them. Control 1, and we're going to format them in the Number tab as Date, and then click OK. Now let's come over to our pivot table and uh, try to right click, group, oh, and wait a second. Cannot group? Well, pivot tables um, store a cache of data when you create it, so we need to refresh. I'm going to right click Refresh. And now when I right click group, now I don't know why it did this. Sometimes it gives me this message right here, but forget that. I'm going to supersede that. For some reason, the, the cache didn't update. So I'm going to go up to options, and there's a refresh button, refresh all, and that should do it. Right click, group, and very important when you're doing dates, if all of the months or days are in one year, then no problem. You can just do months or days or whatever. We don't want months, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to click days. But notice we have lots of years, so it's very important to select years also. Then click OK. And sure enough, we have our years and our dates and our summarizations over here. So that was how to uh, deal with dates that were text that didn't allow us to group in a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next trick.